Did you know that ChatGPT just released some incredible updates that most people haven't even heard about? Well, OpenAI's marketing is terrible and so many things get lost. So today I'm going to show you 13 hidden updates that you can start using in your workflow right now. And even if you're a power user, you're probably not making the most out of these tools. So let's get right into it. If you're new to my channel, I break down the latest AI releases and show you how to use them in your workflow. So if that's what you're into, don't forget to subscribe. One of the major updates is that ChatGPT is now multi-model. It can interact with you in a human-like way through audio, video, and even screen sharing. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So all we have to do is just to open the ChatGPT app on our phone and click the advanced voice mode on the right here. Hi, we are having a sales review call uh, for 2024. Can you help me with that? Of course. What aspects would you like to cover in the review? We can focus on overall performance, key achievements, challenges, and future strategies. Hmm. Let me just open my camera real quick. I want to show you some things. Sure. Go ahead. I'll take a look. So here's the little graph I drew. Do you think my team did well this year? Your graph looks great. It shows consistent revenue growth throughout the year. It seems like your team did really well, especially in Q4. Great job. Awesome. Uh, I also wrote down some notes about my uh, employee's performance. Can you tell Alison how she did? Sure. Alice did a fantastic job this year. She brought in $500,000 in new deals, exceeded her quarterly target by 20%, and earned a performance score of 95. You might also want to highlight her new role as head of sales. Great work overall. Okay, that's well done, Alice. I also have an Excel sheet. Can I share it with you? Sure, go ahead and share it. So here's a sales report for 2024. Can you tell me who closed the least amount of deals this year? David closed the fewest deals this year with a total of eight deals. So David here actually doesn't speak English well. Uh, ¿Le puedes explicar cuántas ventas cerró? Claro. Puedo ayudar con eso. David cerró un total de ocho ventas este año. So as you just saw, you can have a full-on conversation with ChatGPT using all of those inputs at the same time. And it can also seamlessly switch between 50 languages, which is just crazy. You can only use the advanced voice mode on your mobile right now. So let's hope they'll roll it out on desktop soon too. And it is pretty bad with detailed documents and makes a ton of mistakes. So just be careful with that. Let's get on to the next feature. You might already know that ChatGPT can now provide answers using real-time web search. This feature is now also available on the desktop and mobile app, and here's how you can use it to its full potential. ChatGPT now automatically detects when a question needs real-time data. So let's imagine I'm looking up a client and I'm just gonna type this in. So when did Trina Solar announce the new solar panel line? And as you can see, it searched the web for us, it provided annotations, and also some links at the bottom. Super useful. We can also ask ChatGPT to search information for us. For example, uh, let's say I want to research the latest marketing trends in renewable energy. So it's just going to look it up. And as you can see, it provided a comprehensive list of all of the recent trends with links to articles I can read. We can also use this feature in an already open chat to check some information. So for example, here's the text that I've already edited here, and now I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to fact check it. As you can see, it looked it up and it told us the information is not accurate and corrected our mistakes, which is amazing. The search feature can also find locations on the map for you. So let's say I was arranging a meeting with a client called Canadian Solar, and I just want to research co-working spaces near them. So let's ask it to give us a list. There you go. It just went and searched for all of the locations and we can now look the map on the map and see which one works for us. For those of you who are Apple users, I've got some amazing news. We can now fully integrate Siri with ChatGPT. It'll be like using Siri's voice, but using ChatGPT's intelligence. Let me show you exactly how it works. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Who is the current CEO of Trina Solar? As of the 9th of January, 2025, the CEO of Trina Solar is Jiffen Gao. 
who founded the company in 1997 and has been in- As I already told you, ChatGPT is now online on all devices, including this Siri extension. So it actually went and searched for this information and now I pulled it up in Siri. This is super easy to set up. Just make sure to download the ChatGPT app on your Mac or iPhone, go to settings, choose Apple Intelligence in Siri, scroll down and you'll find the ChatGPT extension. Now just click setup and follow the instructions. Click enable ChatGPT. And now all that's left is to sign in. Siri will automatically determine whether this question is fit for ChatGPT or not, or you can just turn Siri off completely by switching off this button and it will just use ChatGPT for everything. I just set up this extension on my Mac yesterday and I actually started enjoying Siri for the first time in my life. This is a huge move against Google Gemini Assistant that we can now use on Android phones and now I'm kind of regretting buying the new Google Pixel. As an Apple user, you'll also be pleased to hear that the ChatGPT app for Mac just got some major updates. It's now much faster, connected to the internet and search features and it can integrate with apps. So let's say I'm editing something in Notion. So I'm gonna use the new fancy option space command to pull up ChatGPT and I can ask it anything. Like for example, I've just asked it to look up Canadian solar and it gave me the real time information, but I can also connect ChatGPT to my Notion. I'm just gonna click this icon right here, click plus next to Notion. And now it is working with Notion and I can ask it everything related to what I'm editing right now. Now, basically, I don't need to copy and paste anything from Notion to ChatGPT. I can just ask it. Like, for example, I can say extend text for first solar and let's see what it does. And as you can see, it's extended the information without me having to copy and paste. Pretty cool, right? You probably already know about the Canvas feature that lets you edit directly inside of ChatGPT, but there's just so much more we can do with it. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say I'm drafting a document with ChatGPT about my client. So to open it on Canvas, I can either just ask it to manually do it, or I can choose Canvas in tools over here and it'll open up a Canvas. I can now edit this document manually or ask ChatGPT to do it. Let's say I want this to be a little bit shorter. I will just ask ChatGPT to make it shorter. We can now go back and forth between versions and we can also see the changes history. But what's even cooler is that now we can ask ChatGPT to comment instead of just directly changing everything. Let's ask it to leave some comments to improve my writing. So it goes through the text and leaves the comments where I could improve. I can then apply them or just disregard them. You can now also use Canvas in projects and GPTs, which are essentially custom chats that you can build for specific tasks uh, that will operate based on your instructions. So here's a custom project I created for writing performance reviews, and here's what I wrote in the instructions. So I said every time we write a performance review, it has to open a canvas with the following structure. Let's see what it can do. Here's a little performance review for Anna Johnson here. We're just gonna send it to the chat. And as you can see, it pulled up a perfect canvas for us, highlighting Anna's achievements, goals, and her new role. There are so many features I didn't cover in this video. So if you'd like a part two, drop show me more in the comments and I'll make another one for you soon. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It will help me make more content like this. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.